What's up Crafty Nistas? I am here with a Dollar Tree haul. A crafty haul. I went to the Dollar Tree today and let's see what I picked up. So I've got this craft and activity mat. Um, I picked up two of these. I can always use an extra um, mat something to protect my spaces. Um, this mat says it is chemical and heat resistant, easy to clean, uh, flexible for funneling, easy storage. You can see there's paints and things on there and so with all the projects that I do, these were the only two that I saw. Um, so I picked these up. Oh, the next thing I have in here is, this is actually isn't from, um, looks like it's anything from the craft section. Um, it's actually from the cooking section. Um, it's a chopper. When I ordered a chopper like this um, from Amazon a few weeks, maybe a few months back, um, it was a Rachel Ray run for the kitchen, um, I started thinking, well, you know what? I could use something like this when I'm crafting. When you have scraps, a piece of paper, as you can see here. I hope this isn't too gross. I have a little, some little scraps here um, on my mat. And you see how it just picks up everything? And that's what I was thinking. I can, um, It can help me scrape up my little scraps when you're cutting up little pieces of paper. Scrape off little pieces of um, glue with the glue gun. And then you can just kind of just scoop it up like that and easily help me to throw that away so it was a dollar you can see now um, with that it's already working so that's going to help me out what else do we got I got some of these stackable um, drawers I've seen the makeup cases um, but my Dollar Trees I haven't been able to find the drawers and so what I want to do is just take three of these and glue them on top of each other and that way I can have um, drawers um, of course I will need to use these for me for crafting purposes um, to keep some of my crafts and them on top of the um, my table instead of using them for makeup see what else we got I picked up these journals I decided that I wanted to start um, doing a uh, started doing um, sort of a prayer journal and so I want to decorate the outside um, so I've got the plain back black but instead of me um, just starting from scratch I was like well these have um, the paper in here and so I can just pick these up and then I can decorate the outside um, how I want. I may just do a tutorial on that. But then I can always, um, I got several of these because I can look back and see where I was in that time uh, in my life and look back and see um, what I've been through. So I'm going to start um, doing that. So I picked up several of those. Then I found this um, little, I guess this is some, um, I don't know what this material is out of, a little false wood, and it says, I lean not on your own understanding. I want to, I made a nice um, jewelry box uh, a while back, and I had a little plaque inside of it, and so I thought this was cute and I um, got the box from Michaels and so I may pick that back up and do another one of those I actually did two of those um, one for a family member and the other one I um, did for a a friend um, paid me to do it so um, I decorate and I'll probably do another one for myself And I picked up these sequins. 
from the Dollar Tree and these different colors. If you've been watching my videos for some time, you know that I use the um, Fuse tool and I just have the ones that I bought from um, HSN that came with the kit. And so I hadn't had any sequins and so this will get me good and started for a while actually picking up my own sequence. And so uh, to go along with that I just picked up some of these craft storage boxes. I picked up two of those. Um, that way I can store my sequences sequence in those that box. Um, a little bit of a non-crafty. I picked up this hair accessory pack. I thought that these would be cute. These little ones right here. Um, my little one has fine hair that's growing in the middle of her head. That just sticks up. And so I thought I'd try those as is these little socks I thought were cute. We'll see how um, those go. Okay, back to the craftiness. I picked up these latex gloves on my last video. I did some staining and I decided that I definitely need some gloves when I'm doing my crafting. I picked up this deco tape. It says there's seven in here. And they're really skinny, but I thought that they were cute. They had some cute little writing on it. I hope that that's focused is in there. But I thought that those were cute. I picked up a deck of cards um, because I wanted to do a project with those upcoming. So I'm just going to leave that as that. I thought I picked up some more. I don't see them. I picked up these gemstone stickers. Um, of course, knowing me, anything that you, anywhere where you can find bling, I definitely want to grab those. So, I think I found, have purchased some more of those. I just can't find them. And then this is a marbling kit. It's the first time I've seen that at the Dollar Tree. And... I went on and grabbed that. I think I'm going to use this, play with this in a project. Maybe even when I do the cards. I think, um, just say I was going to play around with these cards, um, the cards to make some ATCs. And so I was going to play around with some paints. And I think I may use the marbling on that to see how that works. Then I picked up the, this six pack of tape. You can never have too much tape. I picked up um, some highlighters to go along with my journaling. I had some more of those stickers, but those two must have been the only ones that I found. Okay, and then I picked up these Bible stories. This is the first time that I've seen those at the Dollar Tree. And I've got all four that I found. Level 1, 2 Level 1 readers, and 2 Level 2 readers. And I thought that that was cute. And so I guess that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll be happy to have you here. See you later, Crafty Nistas.